Welcome back to part three of Art Room Rules and Procedures. Let's go over the layout of our art room. We have three available pencil sharpeners. One is below our water feature, one is next to the early finisher station, and there's one on the counter at the front of the room. You do not need to ask to use the pencil sharpener, but remember, if I am talking, you are not sharpening. If you're not sure if a pencil or colored pencil is too short for the sharpener, use our sign to compare the size of your pencil. If your pencil is shorter, then do not sharpen it. Just throw it away. We have three trash cans in the art room. One at the front of the room, one at the back of the room, and one next to the projector screen. We also have three drying racks. Be sure to listen to what number rack I tell you to put your artwork in so that it doesn't get mixed up with another class's work. Speaking of drying racks, let's talk about how we load our artwork into a drying rack. We never start from the top of the rack. Instead, you should be loading bottom to top, not skipping any spaces in between work. Now for a few places that you should never touch. My hot glue gun. Our candle warmer. The art trees. The sink faucet. And lastly, our water feature. Other places you should not be are behind the striped curtain. In our supply closet or really anywhere in my desk area. <music> Lastly, let's talk about my mailbox. I'm sure you've noticed it in the supply area. I love getting art gifts. So if you have a drawing or a gift for me, you can place it in my mailbox and I will be sure to check it. Stay tuned for part four of Art Room Rules and Procedures. And remember, to be the best you that you can be.